how can we shuttle carbs to maximize fat loss? In this video, what I'm going to do is look at a new molecule that can potentially accelerate the body's ability to take up sugar from the bloodstream and deposit it specifically to our muscles. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So if you don't want to improve your health, please do not subscribe to my channel. Let's take a look at what shuttling carbohydrates actually means. And specifically what I'm going to do is look at a brand new molecule that has some extremely promising research that can potentially replace some powerful anti-diabetic drugs. So first of all, let's ask ourselves this question. Why does shuttling carbohydrates actually matter? Well, first of all, you need to understand that whenever our blood sugar is elevated, this is generally speaking very bad for the body. And the same is also true for extremely low blood sugar. Very, very low blood sugar is also really dangerous for the body. What we want is for our muscle glycogen stores our muscle sugar stores to be maximized. In general, that is a good state to be in. And we also want our liver, our liver glucose stores known as liver glycogen to also be maximized. What we really want to avoid is high circulating blood sugar levels. This diagram gives a great explanation as to what happens when you exercise when we exercise, it stimulates our muscles and this particular stimulation activates what's known as the glucose transporters type 4, otherwise known as GLUT4. This activation of these GLUT4 transporters basically sit on the cell surface and opens up the door to allow glucose to enter into the muscle. Once glucose enters into the muscle, it can be then used uh, for energy production by the muscle. So really our goal is to maximize the amount of carbohydrates that we consume and convert that and shuttle that into our muscle cells. And this is what's really exciting about this particular molecule that I'm about to share, which really seems to do this to a very powerful degree and very powerful way. So this is really, really exciting uh, research that I can't wait to share. What if it's possible to enhance GLUT4, that transporter enzyme, without doing any exercise? Well, this is entirely possible with something known as DS2060511 or DS2060511. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to keep it shortened to a xanthine derivative. So you can see in this particular study, what I'm referring to is, and the study was titled, a xanthine derivative. DS2006051 attenuates glucose intolerance by inducing skeletal muscle specific GLUT4 translocation in mice. The reason why this is really fascinating is because we're getting that GLUT4 activation without doing any exercise. Clearly now you can probably see where this can be really beneficial. If you can't do any mild exercise following a very high carbohydrate meal, Perhaps the integration of this particular molecule can help to, I guess, mimic uh, the effects of exercise. Researchers at the Japanese pharmaceutical company Daiichi Sankyo have discovered, I probably butchered that, have discovered a potential diabetes drug that can replace insulin or at least enhance the action of insulin. So as I mentioned before, when muscles are active, they absorb more glucose. And in these muscle cells, physical activity stimulates the GLUT4 transporter to absorb more glucose from the bloodstream. Now, when researchers screened more than 100,000 substances for their property to, to trigger this GLUT4 transporter, the researchers stumbled upon this DS2006051, which again, we'll just call it a xanthine derivative. Now, the key problem with a lot of 
anti-diabetes or diabetic uh, medications and drugs is that whilst they lower glucose levels and allow organs to absorb more glucose, they can also increase fat tissues. Now, the Japanese hope that a drug that works via GLUT4 would not have this uh, disadvantage. And what they found was that this particular xanthine derivative allows muscle cells to absorb more glucose, but has no effect on the uptake of glucose by fat cells, which is really extremely exciting and really promising. You can see the changes in this GLUT4 expression in muscle cells versus in fat cells. So now you're probably wondering, what is the dosage of this xanthine derivative? Well, first of all, the good news is that the researchers stated that this particular xanthine derivative is orally active, um, at least in mice, which is promising. However, the bad news is that this particular molecule is not made public at the time that I'm recording this particular video. I will be keeping a close eye out for, you know, access to this particular molecule to the to the public. So please do subscribe to my newsletter. I'll leave that linked in the video description. As soon as this molecule is made public, then I'll be sure to leave a link to a particular vendor as soon as I find one uh, in my newsletter. So please do sign up so that we can, you know, get early access to this really cool uh, molecule. Interestingly, the dosage range, if you translate the doses from the, the mice or the mouse study, approximately between eight to 240 milligrams. So, you know, again, we're looking at a very, very low dosage. So what can we expect? Well, this is what I hypothesize. Again, this is not stated in any research, but this is what I'm assuming we will expect in the future when this is made publicly available. What I foresee is that this particular molecule is gonna enhance muscle pumps. So it's gonna to help to increase awesome pumped feeling that you get when you're training. We're likely gonna see reduced body fat as a result of lower circulating uh, insulin levels. We'll likely see enhanced insulin sensitivity as well. We may see reductions in appetite because insulin can um, affect a lot of the regulatory hormones associated with appetite. We may also notice improved energy levels. I mean, that's pretty a no brainer there. We also may see reductions in type two diabetes risk and we may also see improved cognitive function and or nootropic-like effects. So as I said, where to purchase? Unfortunately, at the time of this video, I don't see this publicly available as of yet, but at least there are some similar compounds that I have spoken about briefly on this channel before. We have dihydroberberine, we have uh, slim pills, which has a combination of awesome botanicals, we also have metformin, cinnamon, and also jagulin. These are various compounds that I have spoken about before. Do browse around on my channel to look at those. But as I said, this research is really new and really exciting. So please do sign up to my newsletter so that you get access to it as soon as it gets released. I'll be blasting it out to all of those on my newsletter. If you found this video helpful or you know insightful, please do like the video. It does help me and my channel grow. And please do follow me on Instagram at ergogenic underscore health. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.